Hello everyone, Dawn Master here. Got a little macro tool haul for you today. I picked up a couple things that um, I wanted and they were actually in the flyer. Why don't you get out of here, bud? Get. Sorry. Anyway, uh, and then I wanted to talk about these screwdrivers I got, these precision screwdrivers I got a while back. Um, talk to you about my thoughts on them and um, how I like them. So, uh, let's get into this. So, number one, first off, I picked up the MM8X11. It is a magnetic tool mat. It measures 8 by 11 inches. Uh, powerful magnets hold tools as well as fasteners. Made in China. That's just great. But it did seem pretty decent. So, very strong ceramic magnets. Okay. So here's the Matco magnetic mat. They have a couple different, three different sizes. They have this one, they have another long one, and then they have a small square one. I went with this kind of rectangular one. And uh, as you can see, it's got square ceramic magnets in it. And it actually is very strong. Um, I kind of tested it out already. Um, let's test it out, show you what, how much weight it can hold. All right, we got a little socket, a little 916 socket. Oh, that flung right off, but I was shaking it pretty vigorously. Nah, to be honest, it's not that strong. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. It seems strong when you pull the, put the magnets together, but when you actually put something on it, oh, that actually holds pretty good. I don't know, maybe it'll be alright. Uh, it's not as strong as the snap-on one, I'll tell you that. I don't own the snap-on one, but um, let's see if it'll hold this half-inch drive ratchet. No, it won't, it won't hold the Mac ratchet. It'll hold the pliers. Uh, these are a little bit cheaper, I think, than the snap-on ones. But I'm not impressed. Uh, I thought they were going to be really strong. But, I mean, it's, it's not terrible. But, I mean, you can put... It's just going to keep your stuff from rolling off. So you can just put some tools on there, maybe some fasteners. Um, you know, putting this Mac half-inch ratchet on there is kind of dumb, but maybe it will hold it. I don't know. All in all, it's okay. Um, it seems pretty durable. Seems like it's well made, and um, it's got kind of like this vinyl leather kind of material on it. And uh, so yeah, I don't know. We'll see how, how she holds up. I'm sure it'll hold screws and fasteners on there, no problem. But So that's that. And there they show it holding a wrench and all sorts of stuff. I mean, it, you just lay it maybe on uh, what you're working on, you know, your engine and kind of hold things on there, I guess. But yeah, that's the MM8 by 11. So, second off, I picked up the Matco HG11M, and that's a 11-piece half-inch drive metric hex grip. 
damage fastener impact socket set. New patented design, durable, versatile, includes 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, skipping 18, and includes a 19. Use on rusted and rounded fasteners, then remove damaged fasteners from socket with included punch and use the same socket to install new fastener. Cool. New patented design allows removal of hex bolts and nuts up to 90% rounded by biting exclusively into the flats, only gripping tighter with more impacts. These are impact grade. Kind of curious where these are made. I'm pretty sure it's a Taiwan product. And yes, made in Taiwan. So, let me get these ponies opened up for you and uh, see how they look. All right, so it comes in a nice blow molded case. Um, by the way, I do know that Astro Pneumatic makes these for Maco. You can get this same set on Amazon um, for about half the price. But I picked these up on the special and the flyer so they were on sale I forget exactly how much they were and I do know the SAE set is does cost more money because it comes with more sockets and it goes up to a larger but I mainly deal with metric so um, I'm thinking about maybe getting the Astro pneumatic set it comes in a red case instead of gray I'm thinking about getting the Astro SAE set to go along with this since I won't use SAE that much Warranty won't be a big deal, probably won't ever wear any of them out. But this set, I definitely wanted to go with Matco since warranty will be uh, a breeze. So, open this guy up, and stuff's a little jumbled around. Um, right away, I can tell these are really, really heavy duty. Um, they have a lot of girth to them. Uh, let's just grab the 17 here and. Uh, the reason I got these is because everyone says you can really pound the hell out of these things um, to get them on a, a bad fastener. And uh, they have that unique kind of design in there. Kind of wavy. And these will bite really hard into damaged uh, bolts. And uh, you'll be able to get them right off nice thing is it has a hex end here so you can use a wrench um, that looks like probably maybe a 19 millimeter probably on that end um, I got a 21 here it actually might be bigger than a 19 yeah, it's bigger than a night. It's bigger than a 21. So this is probably a 22 um, to get this one off. And I think that I don't know if they're all the same size on this end. Yeah, they're all. They all look like they're the same size, including the small one on the back. The back side. So here's the eight millimeter. So these you basically take and uh, you just take your your hammer and you just freaking pound the hell out of these on onto the damaged fastener and then you can use a ratchet or a wrench or an impact and uh, get them get them off and uh, I've heard really good reviews about these uh, CP the tool addict he really likes them um, in the in his videos he's talked about them and he said he's beaten the crap out of them pounded on them and they just take it so that's that's pretty good and they're you know a third of the price of uh, of the Mac RBRT set and then it comes with this kind of forcing rod that you can uh, push through the other end so if you have a bolt stuck you can go ahead and, and push this through and uh, knock the bolt out so that's pretty cool um, both SAE and metric sets are in the flyer um, and uh, I got I got the sale price on these. I think they're 150 bucks. So 
I'm really glad I picked these up. And then the other thing I want to do is talk about these uh, precision screwdrivers. Um, this is a really cool set, and it was in the flyer as well. I can't remember if it was in this flyer or last flyer, but it's the Top Torque 2, the SPR G4, uh, green, four-piece, compact screwdrivers, uh, two Phillips, and two flats, slotted, whatever you want to call them. And these are made in Germany, and uh, Wita makes these for Matco. You can see it says on there, uh, somewhere on here they say Wita. So, so here they are again. You can see there, Wita, Wheat, made in Germany. And I really like the grip on these. They just feel really good. And I'm, since I got these, I'm kind of on the fence of getting the full screwdriver set. Matco has made by Wita and uh, he only has green and high vis though in the big sets on the truck and they are pretty expensive so I might wait for them to go on sale or wait for uh, different colors to come out maybe like red or blue I think blue would be cool and uh, you know I picked these up just because they're cheap they're like 35 bucks or 40 bucks I think and they were in the flyer and I'm like oh, why not I'll get them and uh, I actually have been using the crap out of them around uh, the house mainly. I keep them at home and I had to uh, rewire and put a new uh, plug on my trailer wire for my truck and my horse trailer. And these came really handy, you know, for getting those small screws out. You got the really, really narrow flathead, uh, the wider one, and then you have a Phillips number one and then a Phillips zero. And they just come really handy and I was really prying with this one and it took it, it didn't bend or anything I was I was abusing it and uh, I used this small one to kind of pick an o-ring off a of fuel filter housing too and they've been coming handy so I just want to let you guys know that these Witta screwdrivers are actually really nice and um, I might get some more um, so anyway I thought, thought you guys would like that information and uh, Got a Mac, half inch drive, 17 inch, laying around here. I don't think I could ever give this one up. And I don't think I'm ever really going to use it because it's just so pretty. And you can't get it anymore. For Mac, at least. You can maybe find it on eBay. But that's where I got it, brand new. And then, you know, we got an old USA Craftsman mirror. Made in USA. I got a, a rectangular one also. These don't extend out, unfortunately, but they work around the house for looking around on the on the engines, on the cars and whatnot. And then we got a pair of uh, Kleins here. You know, these are really rugged, never go dull, just beat the crap out of them. And then we got a cheap uh, fastback knife here. And uh, this knife was only like, 10 bucks 15 bucks from Home Depot I've had it for over a year and man you want to talk about a cheap freaking knife um, that's just really dull uh, it was really sharp when I got it after using about one or two times on just cutting tape and stuff open just dull as crap you can see I'm just pushing on that and there's just they don't even cut worth crap they suck so stay away from this you're better off just sticking with a razor blade knife um, or just spending a few more bucks and getting something better quality. Uh, nothing really against Milwaukee, but, you know, I've seen, heard some reviews on these on YouTube and these, these big channels talking about how good the Fastback is, and it's like, you know, you get what you pay for. You know, 15 bucks or 12 bucks for a knife like this, and you really think it's going to last and be sharp for a long time? No, it's not. So, anyway... Not trying to be mean or anything, just talking. So, uh, hope you guys like this little haul. And we will have another one coming soon. Tomorrow is Mac Thursday. Um, I've been buying a lot of expensive stuff from my Mac dealer. And as you can see, my last couple hauls have been kind of light. And that's for a reason. Um, trying to not spend as much money and uh, get, get the account paid down a little bit. So, but... They'll be coming. Just be patient. I'm always getting stuff. So 
hope you guys like this video and uh like comment subscribe and uh let's get let's get the likes up and the uh, comments going and uh get more subscribers and uh so i can do a giveaway you know i got so much good stuff um i want to i want to give something away to someone who uh enjoys watching this channel and uh hope you guys love like this video and uh have a good night